we are back in the saddle i'm actually like kind of not processing that we are back fishing like it was a long off season but i can't believe like the tournament season is back started again on the st john's river we started here every single year it's a super tough one to start with but hey we got what we got so somebody's gonna catch them 47 people are gonna get paid pretty good so that's the goal this week come in that top 47 by any means necessary get to day three then we're gonna mix it up a little bit do some risky stuff if we can get there but uh let's just try to dag them get there we gotta go out there and catch us five a day and it ain't been that easy in practice so let's roll like right, right where the key is i'm in the corner mercer just came on and says it's been 207 days since the last elite series event that goes to my point of what i said in the truck it feels like it's been a long time but then it feels like it got here extremely quickly I need you guys to get loud and welcome him back to the Bassmaster Elite Series. We're super happy to have him here. Let's hear a six-time Pulaski. been to Florida a bunch of times now. Florida officially got me. I mean got me good today. I'd rather just ran this sucker up on the bank and get him Kyle. I did not. Dude I got two. I'm gonna try to get two of them. It's been a while, I can't remember. See my daggum yeah, me moving yeah. everywhere? Yeah. And I thought I was going to because I caught that biggest one. Well, it was like two hours left and I caught that biggest one. I was like, I got this. And I punched for two hours. I wish I had three hours. Classic qualifier from Alabama, Kyle Welcher. Two fish for Kyle Welcher here today. Three pounds, 12 ounces. Not the start you wanted in 37th place, but I've seen you catch 10 pounders here in the past, so you know how quick it can change. Yeah, you know, that's definitely not the start I wanted. That's not what, you know, keeps you up at night that you're dreaming about, but. I really want to get back out there tomorrow and dial this in. I just don't like coming off the water and never really grasping what's going on out there. So I'm, and I'm really excited we got another tournament next week because I need some redemption from today bad. So if I can't do it tomorrow, I'm definitely going to do it at Harris Chain. But we're definitely going to get out there and try to find us another 10-pounder. Woo! Great to have you back here. Bow. It's called, this is a bow. Because we crushed them today. The way I see it. If you can't flip around a daggum worm on an eighth ounce weight and get a bite, they just ain't biting. 
Maybe I should do some reaction bait stuff. I don't know. Like maybe they did catch them good on reaction baits. I literally do not know. But I didn't. I flipped and flipped and wacky rigged and flipped and didn't catch nothing. Yeah, it was a little tan today. Yep. Got my got my high tans what I got. Got my butt whipped. Worst day so far. Since we've been on the elites, this is the worst day by a long shot. Yeah, by a long shot. Back in the truck, doing an in the truck morning intro, whatever you want to call it. This will probably be kind of day two in the same video. But anyways, we're on the St. John's. We did not catch them very good yesterday. We had a whopping three pounds. But there are some absolute giant fish being caught. My boy John Cruz caught a mega bag, 28 pounds. And that's the thing about this river, is it's all about the haves and the have-nots. Yesterday, I was a have-not. Today, we've got to turn that around and catch us one of those big bags today. But you know, the biggest deal is, these AOY points are extremely valuable, and we just need to go grab us a couple. Not good. What up? It's only called two. She said you were fishing with that. Yeah, I had two cubic bites. <laughs> you didn't have any shorts or anything? I caught two shorts, yeah. I feel like I fished good stuff, yeah, too. Special. I mean, I had it for two and a half years, though. Yeah. Doing, doing pretty good, but yesterday was not that good. No. That's how it goes out here, though. Not as good as last year. Not as good as either of the last two years. Oh, well. Florida's tough. Everybody says it's tough. They got me. He caught him. He got 27 pounds. That's why he's got that On the St. John's River. Got, got to get inside the top 47. It is moving day. That's a fish. <laughs> That's the most persistent I've ever seen anyone on a fish. Yeah, it took 
Good job, man. Thank you. Get them caught? No, I don't know how anybody here caught a fish. I don't know how anybody got a bite. It's all jacked up that day. I seen a bunch of big ones on did. They wasn't like, they weren't catchable, but I might could have stuck around there and maybe caught like one or you two. Got fish? I got two. Yeah, I got two, like little ones. I got less than yesterday. It's a rare feat for you. I'll be my worst finish ever by a That's what I'm saying, it's a rare feat. I didn't need much to make comeback. Oh no, I didn't. I haven't opened. No, it works. Oh, it's terrible. Dude, I don't know how anybody caught a fish. How you doing? Doing all right. Thank you, thank you. They bite down there? How's them blisters? Kids five? Uh, how about the band aid? Tackle worse than yesterday. I ain't caught limit in two days. <laughs> I fished good yesterday. I fished bad today. No, I didn't have a bite. I just, I just made it. You know, I wasted a little bit of Let's bring through a three time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, Kyle Welcher. Three pounds, twelve ounces. Jesse, two fish here today. Three pounds, two ounces gives him six pounds, fourteen ounces to prove just how fickle the sport of fishing is. The first time you came here, you caught one fish that weighed ten pounds, and uh, it just shows uh, this this river's always changing, and this one a tough time this time around. Yeah, you know that's exactly right. And I've heard ever since I started coming down here to Florida. I've heard people say that Florida will get you, and a, a lot of people, you know, like a lot of people in the South, they really like going up north and don't really like coming down here because it can do this to you, but I've had an extremely blessed career on the Elite Series so far, so one bad tournament ain't going to kill me. We're going to get this back on track, though, before hair's chain, 100%. Look forward to seeing you there, and I know you'll get it back on training B.